Yeah, that line literally came back. Um, fuck it. Let's talk about the Rams because I have a take. I mean, announce the trade. Yeah. Oh, my God. How did I forget about that? <laughs> what the hell? You even FaceTimed me when this happened. Yo, Von Miller to the Rams. I said it to you when I FaceTimed you. He's never been the second best player on a defense. Now he's the third. At this point of his career, yeah, easily. Yeah. And also, but I, and I mean this with all due respect to, to, to Von Miller. Even in his prime, you can make the argument that Aaron Donald's better than him. Yeah, Donald, yeah. And, and I mean, maybe not Ramsey, but it's, it's very close. Yeah, Donald is considered like an all-time um, yeah. like goat so, in his position. You know, you got to give uh, a lot of love to, I think his name is George Patton, the, the guy who runs the ship for Denver. By the way, Denver's 4-3, and three, and they traded their best defensive player. You got to... They they must not be be confident in their roster in the rest of the season because you're in the you're in the in the you're in the swing of things you know what I mean you're in the you're you're in the race you're on the graphic you're on the playoff graphic when they yeah. show it on the games it's like that's very I guess they're just not confident in, in their guys that and also a second and a third round pick for him next year's draft the Rams now I think only have a fifth round pick next year you want to talk about all in bro mm-hmm. this team is. They have this year and potentially next year with all the contracts and shit to make a move. Because after that, you have no future assets. You have a lot of guys who are going to get paid. Their contract is going to expire. They'll test free agency. Are you bringing them back? Dudes like Cooper Cup now, you're not going to have him on the contract he's on now. Yeah, he's going to get paid. So The only thing that you can hope for is that they're building a really awesome kind of a culture there. And they're building a great locker room. And... You know, hopefully some guys may take a couple bucks less to kind of continue the winning and, you know, you know, to keep the continuity alive. Are you a take less guy? It depends. Like, it, it, if, it, if, if it benefits my situation tremendously, I'm going to just use an example of Julius Randle in the NBA. Okay. Julius Randle could have signed for a lot more money if he waited. He signed a little early, but he's the number one guy, and he's making you know all 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 NBA teams most improved. Like taking a little bit less, if it would kind of elevate you as a player in the situation, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Like, okay, I'll take a couple million less, but I'll be the number one on my team, and all for all of those things that it does for me, as opposed to okay, let me get top dollar, but um, either be on a shit bag team or maybe I'm not the number one guy, number one option on that other team. So if it kind of benefits me, I wouldn't mind taking a couple mil less. But granted, it's easy for me to say. Right. I'm sitting here. Right. Uh, I don't know if you agree. Probably maybe not. I don't. It's fine. No, I think athletes, it seems crazy what I'm about to say because we're talking about dudes that signed millions of dollars and sometimes, you know, eight, nine figure deals, right? Your shelf life is small as an athlete. And especially if you are a player who... Maybe you're a running back or you're a DB where you get banged up a lot, a middle linebacker, right? If you're a quarterback, I understand, hey, let me do the Tom Brady approach. No one's ever going to do what Brady did Mm -hmm. where he was, I think, in his heyday, the 12th most expensive quarterback in the NFL because they were able to go get the Randy Mosses. Mm Uh, Wes Welker is you keep Gronk, you sign these veteran guys, uh, Darrell Revis. You're not doing that anywhere else. Yeah. But they had the cachet of, hey, man, come here. We're going to do this. Come here. You'll be playing late into January. We made 13 of 19 years in the AFC title game, and we've won all these championships. Yeah. You'll be seen. You'll make your money back on Subway commercials or State Farm or whatever other shit you're going to do. Yeah. So you're going to make your money back. However, I'm so for – that's the one thing that's changed the most of me as a sports fan and talking to athletes, getting to know some athletes, interview them, whatever it might be. Your shelf life is so small as an athlete that there's a difference. Like when you go – we used to be in the – this is going to sound funny, like the promoter clubbing scene, mm-hmm. right? When you have all NBA player – Carmelo Anthony at the club as opposed to former NBA player Carmelo mm-hmm. Anthony, the price is different. 
It makes sense. Think about how many old rappers would come to the clubs <laughs> when they weren't hot. And it's like, oh, you can get this dude for like 1200 Meanwhile, go try to get Drake to show up to your place or something. You won't yeah, answer your email. That's an extreme example, but when it, when you're current and when you're a former, it's completely different. I'm I also, so for getting money. I also think with the player empowerment era that we're in now, guys are just waiting, signing the deals that they want, and then just demanding a trade. And, the, and they're kind of forcing their franchise's hands at this point. Like, that that's more where, in the NBA, though. Yeah, but I also think... You're right. It's primarily taking place in the NBA, but I mean, it, before I mean, it would have happened with Deshaun Watson if if he, if the, all of this never happened. So I it's was, ha- it's yeah, going yeah. to be more. I was and more hoping relevant. he was going to be the first guy to break that barrier in the NFL of being a dude who got paid, and I'm out. And yo, I want out. Yeah, yeah. Until all these allegations popped up, where yeah. now he has no leverage to do that. But yeah, he was going to be the first one. Jalen Ramsey kind of did that too. You're right. He had told him, "I'm not, I'm not re-signing here. So trade me for something." Or lose me Watch in free agency for, yeah. for nothing. So I think from that perspective, like that's why I think Brad Beal is waiting to sign his deal. There's all, there's no. I mean, yo, say what you want. He's super talented. I, I just think that he's waiting. You know, he wants every dollar that he could get. And to your point, rightfully so. But the second he signs that deal, you know, maybe a couple of months after, eh, trade me. Um, we got super sidetracked on Bob yeah. Miller. Uh, I love it. I love it. He's going to be getting single covered now. Probably going to open up some shit for Aaron Donald too. Yeah. Nightmare. If those guys can stay healthy, they got the three, arguably three of the best players in the league. Defensive, defensive players defensive in the players. league. I mean, contract wise, they're the three most expensive guys. Yeah. Um, as someone who is financially invested in Rams Super Bowl, that's great. Probably their number. Probably this is amazing. Yeah. Um, you know how that's such a they did him a favor. Like, I mean, Denver. obviously they got a nice return, but think about it. Like, that's the best place he could have gone. Yeah. Just like from 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 the player perspective, you're going to L.A. He's kind of already, a, 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 you know, he's a popular player. Like, people know who he is, right? He's commercials, all that. So, he'll perfect for L.A. He's a big name. And by the way, you're going with two all pros at the same time. Yeah. So, it's like, you know, great return and great fit. Win, win, win for both sides. 